Hey, this is Emma from All Aboard coming to you from Eric, Oklahoma, where we're fixing a combine of a customers that we do and kind of in the off time. That's part of our other sideline business when we're not harvesting. So I'm going to come over here, Dan, where he's telling us. Oh, first we're going to introduce you to Spencer. Say hi, Spencer. Hi. That's my nephew. This is my other nephew, Will. Hi. And my other left ne bleh, nephew, Leslie. <laughs> Okay, Dan, yeah. what are we doing? Replacing the main bearing on the main secondary counter shaft. Okay, so for some of us who have no idea what that means, why don't you tell me what exactly a bearing is? This piece right here that's all new in here is the new bearing. What it allows is this piece of the outside doesn't move, it stays with the combine. This piece here is attached to the shaft so that this can spin around and around and around. And this is what went out. To get to this, we had to take all that off. Everything's sitting over there on that ladder. So it wasn't an easy job. But all of these pieces right here had to come off. All these pieces had to come off to get to it. To get to that small silver bearing. Yep. To explain how the inside of the bearing works, I told you that there was that inside race that goes on the shaft. Then there was the outside race that went in the holder. Inside there is what makes a bearing work. First you have, can you show the ball, Leslie? You have a bunch of balls like that that go around between the two pieces of the two races. And they're held into place by this, which is plastic. And as you can see, the ball sits right in here, encased in there, so that they're evenly distributed all the way around. So what happens is you grease that bearing, which allows that bearing to move around and around and keep it working. Sometimes if you don't grease or keep maintenance on a regular basis, that's what makes the bearing go out. Also, because it's mechanical and it's made out of steel, it can, it can wear out. And that's what happened here. This guy, as you can see from these pieces, he was greasing it plenty good. It had plenty of grease. That wasn't the problem. The bearing just wore out. So that's what we're fixing. Interesting. So how many bearings are actually on a combine? I have no idea. More than I want to count. <laughs> A lot. Any, any bearing, anything from bearings about that big around to that's probably one of the bigger bearings on an 8820. You saw it, it was that big around, but you even have some that might get as big around as that. Just depends on how big a shaft or place that it is. is. Exactly. Interesting. If you got any questions, let us know. Alrighty. So there's a bearing, I guess, or the gist of it. So that's how it's done. Yeah.